Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 tarot reading <clears throat> for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle card for the month. And remember, because I'm releasing these a little bit early, it can release from, it can resonate, I should say, from now until the end of May 2021. Okay, so what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Leos. Thank you. May 2021. Okay. I like the energy of this because it's focusing on the forward movement rather than the letting go. Um, it's almost kind of like the letting go is just peripheral to the progress that you can make now and where you're placing your energy. So we have letting go. I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flowing of life. This is about finding your flow, progress, movement, being ready for new horizons. Um, definitely getting the energy there. Just surrender. Let go what you need to let go of. What do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Leos. Thank you. For May 2021. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. You're ready. Oh, you know what I'm getting for this, Leo? Message I'm getting for this is you are center stage again this month. There's definitely an energy of you in the spotlight, center stage of your life. Find your flow. Let go of anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Uh, you know, and I'm seeing that fire energy, which is your element, you know, burning brightly again. It's a lovely, lovely energy. Uh, absolutely beautiful energy. If you are absolutely ready now, find your flow. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards, Leo. Roughly works out as one card per week, though. Divine timing and all that. The energies may well overlap, but the message remains the same. And then we clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates for you. Okay. What do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Leo. I'm going to shuffle one more time. So I'm using the Radiant Wise Spirit and Morgan Greer. Message for Leo, thank you. Card is out. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Okay, that's beautiful start. Seven of Cups. The Hanged Man. Justice. Card of Libra. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message, Leo. What do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Librans, thank you. Did I say Librans? Leos. You might be dealing with a Leo. Leo, you might be dealing with <laughs> You might be dealing with a Libra because I felt that energy quite strongly just when I said that. Okay. What do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Leo? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. King of Cups with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. I've got Justice again. Wow. Oh my goodness, Leo. I've got the Ten of Cups. Let's clarify these two Justice cards, please. Let's clarify these two justice cards, please. Let's 
Let's clarify these two justice cards, please. So I have the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. I'm going to get one more for that. Nine of Pentacles. And let's do one for this Ten of Cups. The Empress. Okay, it feels to do with money and career, Leo. So, um, and it feels absolutely beautiful. There is absolutely an energy of, it is about, it's interesting because I wasn't even focusing on the words letting go. I was actually focusing on the flow, the movement forward, the progress, like I said at the beginning. Um, yeah, because there's an energy here you know, as the fish swim in the water, it's almost kind of like they're held and contained and move forward by the current. And there's definitely an energy of you are being held and moved forward by the universe here. I'm definitely getting this energy because the Wheel of Fortune is here, which is to do with destiny, divine timing, things happening when they're meant to. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they, they happen when it's right for you. So you may have been frustrated because there's definitely an energy here of your wishes coming true this month. It is coming true. Um, <laughs> this is divinely, time, divinely timed. But it's it comes when there's a feeling of things being, being beyond your control. The happiness, the reasons to be thankful, the celebratory energy is coming your way. Uh, maybe some kind of personal achievement. You know, these are trophies lined on a silk shelf. And this person looks so satisfied because they've earned every single one of those cups that are full brimming with happiness, joy, contented, fulfilling energy. Um, and they've made it happen. They've made it happen. Uh, the energy that you've been putting into something you're being rewarded with, the universe rewards our energy and time where we place our focus. But they, it does it when it's ready to, when the time is right. So there can be an energy here sometimes, Leo, of your wish is coming true. You're going to get the, the, the goal, what you've been working towards, the happiness, reason to be thankful, celebration. Um, but it happens when it's meant to happen. But there's definitely an energy of things opening up for you, good luck, good fortune, things turning in your favour. I love the energy. Now, there's definitely something that you may have been secretly working towards. And this is an energy of, my goodness, how you have... You, there's an energy here of, of you've mastered. The King of Cups masters the water, which can be to do with our emotions and feelings. And again, with this energy of letting go and finding your flow, there is definitely this energy of somebody who may be working towards secretly some kind of hope, dream or wish, but you have had to or are about to contain or are about to um, bring in, it feels emotional stability, balance, um, you're bringing emotional balance to a situation that maybe, I don't know why I'm getting this, but some of you may have been through some kind of emotional time or maybe it's just been an emotional journey. Uh, but this is about your hopes, dreams and wishes hanging out there in the ether. Um, and the King of Cups is somebody who, who knows where he's placing his focus with one of these cups and is quietly putting it feels like some kind of covert plan into action there's an element of secrecy here so i mean we do that this for a number of reasons we do it because sometimes we don't want to get other people's hopes up so we keep things to ourselves until the time is right we don't express our feelings um there's definitely an energy also maybe in your current job you don't want other people to know that you're going for something new, so therefore you keep things to yourself because it could endanger your current situation. You know, whatever this is, 
it definitely feels in this situation leo that you are just trying to remain calm and keep and go for your hope dream and wish you know maybe choices decisions and there's such promise and potential here because it's interesting you know the empress does appear in this you know we have her top left and yet we have her appearing at the end of this reading too so it feels like what you're focusing on there is the promise of really making it happen and manifesting it this month and that's definitely what I'm picking up on maybe some frustration seven of pentacles and the hanged man there could be some frustration here um, because things have to play out in May there's an energy Leo you know if you have to be patient if you're waiting for uh, there can be things if things need to be aligned I mean you know this can be you know if you're talking to somebody about a job for example you know they may have to go and sort somebody else out and get their schedule sorted and you know whatever this is I mean you know that's just an example um there's things that need to be aligned and things aren't quite aligned yet but it doesn't mean that it's not coming you know you are being aligned here with the hanged man it's just things haven't quite played out yet and it can be a bit frustrating with the seven of pentacles because the seven of pentacles is somebody who wants to bring first and foremost material gain and value into their lives um but they're frustrated because all the energy that they're putting into something is not really paying off they're not seeing the big reward that they've been hoping for for their time and effort so it feels in this situation you there could be some kind of delay or things being stretched out a little bit here but the message is just hold your nerve stay in that king of cups energy stay in that emotional stability stay focused just absolutely stay do using your practical skills knowledge and putting them in the right direction because we've got the wheel of fortune here you're going to get your wish you're going to get your reward yeah and why do I like justice twice because I'm just the first thing that I felt when I saw it is reap what you sow there's karma you reap what you sow and I'm seeing this definitely with the wheel of fortune um now yes this can be to do with legal situations government institutions maybe some kind of contracts as well so there could be some contracts here for some of you um but definitely reaping what you sow energy there i mean justice can be uh, a decision that you're waiting on uh, that's made in the light of truth that restores balance and equilibrium in your life you know whether it's legal whether it's waiting to hear back from somebody it feels that you've been working hard and there's definitely this energy if something needs to play out a little bit second third week but then i've got this energy of reaping what you sow legal decisions you know definitely going in your favor here um balance being restored in your life maybe in terms of monetary balance as well um very nice energy indeed you might also be dealing with a libra here a libra may be of influence in your life uh this month but the period of feeling that you're just getting by money wise uh, financially whatever this is to do with there's definitely this energy of it's nearly over and you will stand in your own abundance your own success your own self-worth and you've made it happen the nine of <clears throat> the nine of cups you know the thing that's going to make you happy and content and fulfilled and give you reasons to be thankful it feels that nine is being translated to the material aspect of the nine of pentacles um it's money it is security it is stability that you have created through sheer hard work focus determination perseverance 
This is standing in your own success, a self-sustaining energy as well for those of you who are entrepreneurs. Um, so if you've had some ups and downs in terms of career, uh, business or your own business, for example, it might well be that you, for whatever reason, you've just been giving something a go. I mean, you know, this could be even adding a new line or a product line or adding a new uh, layer to your business, you know, in order to bring in extra income. I mean, whatever this is. Um, very good in terms of jobs as well. But there's definitely an energy that we're moving from the Six of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles here, and you're one step away, you know. There's just an energy here, Leo, of something, there may well be one obstacle to overcome. And I'm saying obstacle, it might be one thing to do. So that could be paperwork, contracts, it could be some negotiation, it could be some kind of test that you need to do, it could be some financial income that needs to come your way. You know, whatever this is, it just feels there's one thing to do and then you're home dry, you're home dry. Um, and the six, you know, the six of pentacles, remember this comes after the five of pentacles. I know we talk about this in terms of it's your time to receive, but I say this all the time. It's what you need, not necessarily what you want. Whereas the nine of pentacles is more what you want. The six of pentacles, we move from somebody who feels lack with the five of pentacles to somebody who is just getting charity, who is getting handouts. And these handouts are what this person can afford to give. You know, it's not necessarily they're giving something that they don't miss. So it can be hit and miss in terms of what's given here. So there's definitely an energy of this is receiving just to get by. It's slightly better than the five of pentacles, but there's definitely an energy here of it is bringing in some kind of abundance here. So very nice energy indeed. And then we have the abundant energy of the Empress. And she is also about the birth of something new. So again, it could be new phases, new levels or new beginnings. Um, she is the promise of something wonderful here. Uh, she's a very abundant energy. She is where you have felt some kind of lack. You know, there, there is still a little bit of lack here. Uh, because you're needing to rely on handout from somebody else to bring in greater abundance for yourself. There is definitely an energy with the Empress of feeling abundant, not feeling the lack anymore. She's very good in terms of money and career. She's also very good in terms of love, romance, relationships. And the Ten of Cups, I see the Rainbow of Blessings. It feels to do with you, your family, your home. There's a lovely bliss that comes with the Ten of Cups. But here's the thing, Leo, this is Mars in Pisces. It's the productive energy. This is the rainbow of blessings that is brought about by you being exceptionally productive and being in your power and focusing your power and skills to really create the happiness, the blessing that is the Ten of Cups as well. It's a great card of success. So it's a lovely, lovely energy. I'm going to pull a final card. Interesting, I had this for Sagittarius. We have go outside. It's time to go outside, tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. <clears throat> This is a great perspective energy as well, you know, to get perspective, to to really get that emotional balance and reconnection to self, you know, and, and you know, stand even though there's choppy waters all around you with the King of Cups, he remains calm. It's that kind of energy. Okay. Because you're being protected, yeah. I did say that at the beginning, you know, we have the fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. That's lovely, Leo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.